Okay, so if you're like me, you are uninstalling Waves plugins. Now, I'm not going to delete them entirely. Obviously, I've spent a good deal of money, and also I had vouchers that came from referring people to Waves plugins, and I have no regrets because I had no idea they were going to pull this on us. But here's the bottom line. After figuring out how to uninstall Waves plugins from a Windows 7 machine, which basically I had to install the version 10 of Wave Central offline installer. And then once you're in there, keep your computer offline, first of all, before you start the program. Um, for some reason, it wasn't installing correctly at first. And then I'm not even sure how I got it to install, to be honest with. Oh, I know what it was. There was a link. See, they, they had two separate links to the Wave Central installer. The second one, which was like three and a half gigabytes, that's the one that worked properly. The one that was like 250 megabytes didn't work. So anyway, here's the important thing. Even after you do an, un, an uninstall on all your version 10 plugins and version 12 and version 11 plugins, you then have to click the cleanup button, which in, in, in my case, it didn't work properly. So again, remaining offline. And in order to do that, you just disable your network um your network card through this button right here you click that you click that and then you click change adapter settings and then you right click that it it might be different on yours it'll be named something different but you right click and then you choose disable you do that before installing the offline installation thingy <laughs> but the important thing is and this is where i would have had an extra like eight gigabytes on my hard drive you have to go under your c drive program files x86 i don't know why waves puts this in the 32-bit folder but whatever waves and then the data folder the data folder the data folder in my case look this acoustics.net impulses is like almost three gigabytes of information and i'm going to go through a, a bunch more of these because i don't want any of this stuff on my computer anymore and then the other big one was under instrument data look at that six gigabytes would have been just sitting on my computer that does not get removed automatically with wave central now that's stupid in my opinion but whatever <laughs> So make sure you uh, check through this folder. I'm probably just going to do a control A and then delete everything. <laughs> um, because as far as I'm concerned, I'm, I'm done with Waves, at least on this computer. I'll probably be putting their creative access on my um, Windows 10 machine that I don't use for music production. Um, you know, because like I said, I spent a lot of money on this stuff. And if I want to use, there's, there's a few plugins that I really like. And if I absolutely need to use them, I'll just use them on the Windows 10 machine and then uh, bounce the files and bring them onto this one. So eventually I will upgrade the Windows 10, but I'm holding on for dear life. Have you ever seen that picture of the goose uh, swallowing the frog and the frog, the, the frog, even though its head is being swallowed, it still has its uh, hands wrapped around the goose's neck. That's me. I'm the frog right now. So I love Windows 7. I do not like Windows 10. Um, you know, I use it for very basic things, but it just gets in the way. Windows 7 stays out of the way. And um, that's why I still use it. But it's as the, as the months go on, uh, I, I ran into some iLock problems the other day that I couldn't get fixed. Um, so I'm using an old version of iLock and eventually... You know, I might not be able to use newer plugins that I really want to use. But then again, maybe that'll help with the plugin addiction. If I can't use newer plugins, that means I can't buy newer plugins. And I'll just stick with what I have. So anyway, I just want to let you all know to check this folder out before you forget it. And you have an extra bit of data just sitting there unnecessarily.